I grew up going to Mass on Sunday, you know, participating in Sunday school. I grew up in the Bible Belt, um, so very small town. There was only one Catholic church in the surrounding nine counties. And so most of my friends were Protestant, and I would try to have a relationship with Jesus through them. And it was a lot of prayer, you know, very um, beautiful spiritual life. But even then, even as a kid, I felt like something was missing. I felt a call to something deeper, and I didn't know what it was at that point. I remember in confirmation class, I, <laughs> I argued with the teacher, bless her heart. It's like, no, this is symbolic of Christ. It's not actually Jesus. I did not understand. I used to think that I was going to experience a huge revelation, a transformation, and then my faith would increase. Um, I came to that mindset by, you know, thinking that staying where I was, if God wanted me, He would, you know, create a big event and then that would draw me closer to Him. But I stayed maintained in my worldly ways, waiting on God to do something, to invite me in. But in reality, I realized that he's open. His door is always open. You know, he's waiting on me to come and knock on it. So it's through research and prayer and grace been able to understand that this is the body of Christ. And what a beautiful gift to receive that daily. I had to create a new life. Um, step by step. It wasn't a big transformation all at once. It was these little ways surrounding myself with people who um, recognized the truths of the Catholic faith and especially in the Eucharist and had to bit by bit, you know, go grow closer to Christ myself versus, you know, waiting on God to have something happen big in my life that would draw me nearer to Him. That's how I prefer to start my day, is receiving the Eucharist. It gives me that time in prayer. It gives me that time in the presence with the Lord, in receiving the Lord, so I do have the strength to conquer whatever comes my way that day. It gives me that peace, starting my day, not filled with chaos, but with that peace that only comes from the Holy Spirit, especially in the form of the Eucharist. I feel like I can take on any challenge that comes my way because of the strength I receive. And I have noticed the days that I go without, for some reason I can't make it to daily mass, everything is more chaotic. I'm worried, I'm anxious, and so that's why the Eucharist has been so important to me, to have a peaceful but strong life. I've learned that Jesus is a gentleman. So he's not going to force himself into your life. He is always at the door waiting on you to knock. And you know, the priest can open that door during uh, the Eucharist or during adoration. Um, Jesus is always on the other side, but it's up to us to knock and, and open and receive him. He is the truth. He is the truth of our existence, of our capability to love, and He offers us something beyond what we're experiencing right now, the afterlife, a beautiful heaven for eternity.